The Norris Trophy finalists have been announced. They are Eric Carlson, who had over 100 points this season. First time we've seen that from a defenseman in three decades. Kale McCarr and Adam Fox we have seen in this conversation a, a time or two as well in their career. We're used to seeing that. Yeah, these are familiar names when it comes to this conversation, that's yeah. for sure. Is, is there a surprise there? Are we surprised by Makar? I'm not surprised that those Fox? three are up there. Nope. No, I'm not surprised that Carlson's up there. I'm but is there anybody that's not here. on there that you want to give an honorable mention to? Yeah, I would give honorable mention to Rasmus Dahlin. Mm. Rasmus Dahlin had points superior, had higher point totals than uh, both Makar um, and uh, Fox did this year. Uh, nothing near what, uh, of course, Carlson accomplished in a season from who saw that coming. But really, <laughs> I, I have loved, you know, we've loved him on the offensive side of the puck from the moment he set foot on NHL ice. I think the game has slowed down for Rasmus Dahlin. He's got a physical element to his game that I never appreciated until probably this season, but really, really solid on a team that was kind of middling for most of the year, a plus 12 at the end of the day. And two, Billy, we often say, you know, the, the real value to your team, whatever role, whatever position you play, uh, comes in the form of time on ice often. And those are top end minutes. That's 25, nearly 26 minutes a night for the Buffalo Sabres. Rasmus Dahlin, to me, really inserted himself into that top tier discussion defenseman league wide. And I thought really should have got a little more recognition where the Norris was concerned this year. He might have been in. He got banged up towards the end of the year and came back after that injury and had about 10 games where I believe they only had maybe one assist. Yeah. Uh, had a little bit of a downfall but Rasmus Dolin when you watch him play that big body that he's size so good he, he is so oh, good we've seen the ceiling he's, he's, yet there's more to come I agree. yes and I with, come. with that Sabre team is going to grow with right. that that young nucleus that he's yeah. part of that bubble. they got two guys on that team that are probably going to oh win power yes mention <laughs> it they uh they're really stacked there in Buffalo I, I like Dolin hard to argue with if you put Dolin in there People we'll are going to say, why is Fox not in there? Why is McCarr? Just a quick note, because I know you got yours, but there's, there was a handful of guys that had more points than Fox and McCarr. Yep. Didn't, feel, didn't finish above them in, in, vote, in voting. Dougie oh. Hamilton had a good year and yeah. was up to that 20 goal mark. I think he was one of those guys. That's, more total, more point mm -hmm. totals, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and Morrissey, there was a lot of talk about Morrissey. But if you put Morrissey in there, honestly, if you put Morrissey, if Brandon Montour played in a Canadian city like Winnipeg, yeah. The, you look Not at your Panthers, but you know, you look at the parallels between Morrissey and Montour, almost identical where they went from 35, 36 points yeah. up into that 70 point range. Yeah, huge jump. Uh, both played on the power play. Those were got, but both don't neither of those two players kill penalties mm -hmm. that hurt you when it comes to Norris trophy conversation. Didn't McCarr's the best defenseman in the NHL. Would he get your vote McCarr this year? Who would get your vote? This Eric, year? Eric Carlson. If okay. you do something that someone has not done. In 30 years? Please. Please. Carlson, for you too? Yes. Uh, I mean, honestly, Jackie, I, I told you about this before we jumped on air. Uh, you know, anybody else, individually, the personal season that this player has had this year, nobody would have predicted it. It's something from out of nowhere. And the context, to me, is the most surprising thing. This is a 100-plus point season from a guy who has been remarkable, brilliant before. But he did it on a, a never mind mid <laughs> San Jose has been a struggle bus all year long. And out of nowhere, Eric Carlson, healthy, um, in top condition, comes up with a just a brilliant campaign. Nobody could have ever predicted it. Pay the man his money. Pay, give the man his trophy. My, he's my, getting paid for the next five or Oh, he's getting paid. Is. He's been getting paid. <laughs> yeah. But I will say he's this. A lot of the a most imp as impressive as it is, right, the 100 points, haven't seen yeah. it in 30 years, three decades. To me, the most impressive stat is that he had over 70 points at even strength. He had yes. one less yes. point at even strength than Connor freaking McDavid. One less on that's a crazy. way worse team. Like, to yeah. me, that speaks volumes about the way that Eric Carlson yes. impacts the game when he's on the ice. Now, the haters will point to the minus 26, which is fine, but he was also on the ice for 20 empty net goals. Yeah. So you have to factor that in as well. And I That's just, a bad team. I've, I've sung the song all year. Like, to me, if Eric Carlson doesn't win the Norris, I would think it would be an absolute travesty. So uh, I don't vote, 
Hopefully the voters uh, will give it to EK65. I think he deserves it. I would agree. What a yeah, season. Yeah, I would be that, that season. Doesn't, pill, doesn't kill penalties, though, or didn't. That's, yeah, no. it doesn't kill a lot of penalties, but it's historic. And if you put him on any different group, he could have, too, too bad he makes too much money because he would have been available at the deadline Imagine. for someone to pick yeah. up. Oh, could have went please. to a Could have went. If, if, it, if he was affordable, they could have fit him in to Edmonton. Imagine listen, what he would have done with Edmonton in that power play. The discussion we're always having around the Norris, too, in past years is, do we put too much emphasis on the offensive yeah. side of the game? I think the answer for most analysts, people that sit in our chairs, is yes. But, okay, if that's, if that's the norm, if that's the chief criteria, give the man his trophy. Give the man his trophy, because that's a brilliant campaign. Yeah, pay this man his Norris, okay? <laughs> exactly. Pay this man his Norris. <laughs>